Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Adobe Extensions Quick Tip Tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to use hotkeys in your extension. With this, you'll be able to set a hotkey up with your entire window itself, or you can select a specific element like, for example, an input text. This is a super useful feature that could help you create things like a search feature, bake in shortcuts to your extension that do different things and much more. So today we'll be using my extension testing extension and applying basically a hotkey which will detect whenever we hit a key. So in this case I hit the E key, it tells us E key entered and I can basically type in any key I want including enter and it's going to tell me what I entered. Then, and then you can compare this entry key to whatever function you want to give it and then have shortcuts built in. Before we get started with this video, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel. And down in the description, you can check out the extension testing code to uh, begin implementing this yourself and to a test extension. Check it out in the GitHub link and follow us there for coding updates. And in the description, follow us on Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member of our Discord server, you can come and join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, submit tutorial ideas, hang out with our knowledgeable members, and much more. And if you'd like to help support us financially on YouTube and get cool perks, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP, link in the description. Alright, so we're going to basically take the extension testing extension from start, and we're going to convert it into an extension that can detect our hotkeys. So if I go ahead and reset all the code and launch it, you can see we just have our blank extension testing uh, window. The first thing I want to do really quick is remove this button and we're going to want to give it some kind of element to type into. So I'm going to create an input element. It's going to be a text type and I'll just say the ID will be called input and the value will be some placeholder text. Then I'm going to make sure this actually is inside of our preview section here, which is our main div. Now I should just be able to restart this extension. And now we have our placeholder text. Now we want to look at how we can apply a functionality to detect whenever a key is pressed. The way we're going to do that is firstly inside of our JavaScript. And uh, we're going to want to apply an event listener to our window. The window object represents this entire window here. So we're going to be attaching an add event listener. So you can say add event listener. And there are a couple of useful event listeners for things like uh, key presses. You have the keywords key down and there's also key up. Now key down is when you physically press down on the key. As soon as you let go and that action is triggered as you release, that is a key up. So if you want something specifically to happen when the keyboard hits the uh, sort of conduction material in the keyboard itself and sends that key down, you can use key down. Or if you want it to trigger as they release the key, you can use key up. Now, the second argument is the function we're going to run. Uh, sometimes you could just type in the name of the function and send it off to that. But in this case, we're going to inline the function like this. So we'll just say function, anonymous function, and that's going to run some code in here after we do the key up. So just so we can see that this is working, I'll say, hello, you keyed up. And I'll save this and relaunch the extension. And it's already told me I've keyed up. If I hit another key, it seems like I have to be selecting something. So let's apply this to our input. Instead of the window, I'm going to say document dot get element by ID. I'm going to grab this input and then the event listener will only be applied when we uh, type something inside of our input. So I'll relaunch the extension, type in a key, and we get our alerts, hello, you keyed up. Now, what this is doing is sending a key event into this anonymous function. Now, a key event can be accessed and give us the name of the key being pressed, whether the shift key or control key is being pressed, etc. So if I just uh, say key object, this is going to be what value is returned from our anonymous function, or excuse me, our event listener. So if I go ahead and just say alert key object, and now if we go ahead and initialize it, you can see we get a keyboard event. Now if we want, we can take that keyboard event uh, and just loop through it since it's an object. We'll say for var i in key object, we'll alert to i and key object 
index i. This will give us each property of this key object, as well as each of the evaluated values of those properties. So go ahead and type in our input. We get is trusted, true, key, two. I did hit the two key. Code, numpad two, location, three, control key, false, shift key, false, alt key, false, and all these other useful values. In fact, there's quite a, quite a few more than I actually expected. The ones we're interested in are the key and sometimes the shift and alt or control keys. So what I wanna do instead of looping through my entire object here, I'm going to check if key object dot key is equal to, let's say, a lowercase q. If that's the case, we're going to say you pressed q. So then we'll restart this. And if I type in a bunch of random stuff, it doesn't work. But as soon as I type in q, you can see it says you pressed q. So that's how we can analyze basically what key they're pressing. We can also do things like control key. Um, we can say if the key object dot control key is true and our key object dot key is equal to Q. Now it re requires to press control Q in order to activate this. Uh, in fact, we'll just say control plus Q and save that and restart. And now if I hit Q, nothing happens. If I hit control Q, then we get our alert saying we press control Q. So you can apply these event listeners to the entire window, the entire document, or specific elements or divs, and then use this uh, return value or this argument to check whether it has a control key, a shift key, etc., and a specific key applied, and then you can run some code um, basically making a shortcut. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel. And down in the description, you can check out the extension testing code in my GitHub. Try it out for yourself and integrate this uh, feature and see how it works for yourself. Follow us there for coding updates and in the description, follow us on Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member of the Discord server, you can come and join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, hang out with a lot of knowledgeable members in the community, and much more. And if you'd like to help support us on YouTube and get cool perks at the same time, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP, link in the description. Thanks again for watching everyone, and we'll see you next time.